Good afternoon, you two pipe smokers. What is everybody doing today? Hope you're enjoying a pipe or a cigar someplace. Anyway, cigar check. Smoking a vintage, not available anymore, machine made, one of the better machine made cigars that were ever made, Judge's Cave. Sergeant Saffinelli just did a segment on Connecticut uh, cigars, and this is one of them. It's just about a full box. I had this box for about two or three years now, and um, it's a shame that they're not available anymore, but these are really good. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, may he rest in peace, uh, used to love these. Um, and he's the person that turned me on to them. And uh, I used to always have a box in inventory. Uh, and then I had forgot about it. And a few years ago, I had a craving for one. And they were still available. Probably one of the last batches, I would assume. Uh, there's no date on this box. Um, but... Um, yeah, they're really good. Um, I guess I will savor these now, because once they're gone, they're gone. But um, very good machine-made cigar. I know some people will cringe at the thought of a machine-made cigar, but, I mean, it is what it is. Um, they, they were like half the price of a hand roll back then. Um, they're good for working on the yard or a quick smoke. Um, they, they smoke really good. Um, very consistent. And uh, nice taste. I mean, uh, I'll tell you a little story about cigars. Um, how I got started smoking cigars was um, many years ago when I uh, actually bought my first house because uh, I'm from the city. I used to live in the city in an apartment and uh, moved to the country. So I had to cut grass, naturally. So I would cut grass after work. And uh, I seemed to be a mosquito magnet. Um, and I'd cut the grass and mosquitoes would bother me. And usually I'd cut it in the afternoon or towards sunset, so the mosquitoes are worse at that time. But that's the only time I had to cut the grass, in between rain or whatever. So I'd buy a cigar. I didn't know one cigar from another. I'd never smoked, uh, period. So I stopped in a local store and I bought a, a white owl. That's all I knew. And I smoked it. And I didn't smoke it to smoke a cigar. I smoked it to keep the mosquitoes away. So I did that for every time I cut grass in the summer. So one day we go over to my friend's house. He lived in Queens. And he had a barbecue and he has a little backyard. And he brings out these cigars in a humidor. First time i ever seen a humidor. I said, wow, what are these? I only knew White Owl. White Owl's in a fake paper wrapper. And they're actually disgusting. Now that I think about it. But, um... Oh, these are hand-rolled cigars. And actually, at that time, there was a guy in Queens, uh, in this little place he went, that hand-rolled their own cigars there. They were called um, uh, La Rosa or something like that. Um, but we had those, and oh my God, it was like being born again. I mean, these things tasted great. So that's what hooked me on the cigars. So, of course, I sort of have a, uh, like any hobby I get into, I tend to overdo things. The next thing you know, I can't find a cigar shop fast enough when I get back home. And about a half hour from me, there was a great, great cigar store in the corner, um, United Smoke Shop in Rhinebeck. And uh, he had pipes and cigars and a walk-in humidor. 
Well, it turns out I end up buying boxes and boxes of cigars. So I'm like this cigar king now. I was an expert in cigars overnight. Cutters, lighters, you name it. Humidors, all over. Humidor in the car, humidor in the house, humidor at the shop. <laughs> Typical overboard. Hook, line, and sinker, you know? So, then the Cigar Aficionado magazine came out. I started buying those. And those magazines are, you talk about a tease between the high-end cars in that magazine, the high-end whiskeys, the high-end everything, the high-end golf clubs. I mean, it, it's uh, just a high-end magazine. And I started reading about cigars, of course, and and we fast forward. I end up buying a, um, a, 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 it looked like a nightstand, but it was a humidor. I had that thing filled to the brim. I had not only that, pipe tobacco, then I, I, I delved into pipes. And um, and that's it, I never looked back. I still buy the Cigar Aficionado magazine, which I enjoy. Um, I used to buy the pipe magazine, but that's no longer available uh, locally. Um, last week, or last, uh, a couple, a month ago now or so, I was in Florida and the, the, the pipe shop I went in had a, cigar, a pipe magazine I bought it. That's another nice magazine. I wish they, it'd be more available. Um, and here we are, but Judge's Cave was always in the staple. Um, now, of course, they're not uh, like a hand-rolled Dominican or uh, a Cuban. But, I mean, they're really good. They're, I mean, for what they are and what they used to cost, they were a bargain. And uh, I surely will miss them. I will save it this box. Uh, but um, that's my story. And... Uh, what do you think about that pipe dog, huh? What do you think? Anyway, guys, uh, like I said, I hope you enjoy your day. I hope you're having a cigar or a pipe. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next one.